Oh man, I thought I was going to be able to do more today <clears throat> on my day off, but I have to say that the coup flu is still showing its effects. Just fatigue, but you know, doing all right, but just fatigue. So bleh. I am marching my way through completing my set of bows for my website, which I haven't done. I had a list of things to do today, changed this and that and the other thing, including going from Geico to Progressive. Man, Geico raised my insurance by 100 bucks just because Progressive got it back down to what it was before Geico raised my insurance $100 a month just because. Progress thus far. This is ready to rawhide bag. So I will have a completed talisman. I've got the little round channel in here. It's probably hard. Oh, there you go. You can see how I did it. I think it looks like a bone. And then beveled, beveled the edges here. So it's a cool bow. So this will be when I complete one of my bows. Got the paddle bow ready to rawhide back. That'll be two completed bows, including painting. Talisman will be painted in my, my runic saying, my old Norwegian script down there. It says something. Cool. Paddle bow will be a raven bow. Black on one limb, white on the other. I like that. I like asymmetry. My little wonder horse bow completed. That's number three. The woodwork is done on my gently recurved snake bow to glue that fabric snakeskin pattern. Copperhead, not not a western diamond back. I like the copperhead. It looks nice. This one, this is my D-Bow. And a note, I've sold quite a few of these things. For the pad, because you pad it so the clamp doesn't make an indentation in there. If you boil the tips and you do this first bend right here, use a very thick one that goes side by side. It's not as critical on this one. You see that little thin plywood thing, but on this, Give it some extra support, nice pad. And so this will be number five. Bow that will be completed. This, I've got raw, raw height strips for this. I, you know, I'd like to send you back this, but I'm gonna raw height back it. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, okay. So then we have the Renaissance bow, which this will be a self bow. It'll be, rounded it it will look kind of like an english longbow and again this is a good reenactor's bow it's a i forget how long it is like 72 inches long or something like that and i build up i said cork before i use cork sometimes or leather where i build up on the the back of the handle and then the front so i build it up english longbow style and then do a wrap and then i will probably use i don't know Maybe uh, a dark stain and then grease it. I like heating and greasing bows. It's good for the soul to heat a bow and grease it. So that's six. And then I have da, 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 this one to complete, my home guard bow. And you know what I'm thinking? I might just send you back that one. I don't know how I'm gonna complete it. Um, raw height backing is good insurance. It could be a self bow. Maybe I'll just do a self bow on that. But that will be seven bow styles that I offer. And I want to have pictures of completed bows um, for my website, which I haven't done yet. But, you know, with my current day job, the way it's going, it would be hard to actually have an up and running bow channel. So I, I need to make some decisions here. Now, I had a couple questions. One was, fellow was... First time sinew backer, and he's preparing his sinew, and he's having a hard time, you're having a hard time, getting consistent fiber sizes. Ah, this is a tough one to crack. This is a tough nut to crack, because a lot of it just depends on experience. The other is, I don't, I don't bug so much about making sure every one of my fibers is the exact same size. Picture this. Um... 
if you're doing it the standard method where you've got your bundles laid out, small bundles, multiple fibers, and then you dip it in the high glue and you lay it down, brickwork pattern, whatever pattern you use, you could have 11 small fibers in one of the bundles and seven bigger fibers. See where I'm going with this? If I'm doing it a fiber at a time, and I say that loosely, a fiber at a time, if I pull out a decent sized fiber, a bigger one, and lay it down, and I want to match it, and I pull out a skinny fiber, and it would be weird to like connect that skinny fiber in a line to that bigger one, I'll, I'll find another skinny fiber. You know, so you're just putting them back together. You can create then uniform sizes. And again, you'll get you'll get better as you get experience. And so you just kind of have to like suck it up and then make a few mistakes perhaps, but get better as you get more experience. But the one thing is if you try to over process it and get little tiny fibers and once you send you back the first time, you know, things will be more clear. So sometimes you just have to like take the chance and not do a perfect job, which sinew is a very forgiving medium. So, you know, <laughs> you could have weird shape, random size fibers. And as long as you put them on the bow, so it's consistent, you know, seven fibers here equals three bigger ones, you know, you'll be all right. And the more you do it, the better you'll get. Don't consider this your one and only bow. Um, although I can do a video, I will do a video. I'll pound a tendon and then show you how I do it to reduce the waste in it. What else was I going to say? Um, it's really about it. I'm just looking forward to the day when I wake up and I'm 100% again. But you know, sometimes this thing can be kind of bad. Fortunately, I'm not. I, I am to the point where if you're fatigued, I can go to work and, you know, I'm not going to get sicker. When I have to go in the cooler, like doing inventory, trust me, got long underwear shirt under my, my uniform shirt, got my uh, fleece jacket, and I was wearing a hat because I did inventory the other day, and I was in the cooler for like an, almost an hour and a half, you know, and it's pretty cold in there. But I was smart about it. That's about it. That's about it. Enjoy making bows. If you again, if you have any questions, just email me or just ask in the comments. I do my best to answer everyone. And with that, I'm gonna say, uh, I'm gonna go inside and eat and lay down. Recover to get strong to make bows.